read a book today. It's called, May I Have a Word? We're gonna think about the actor's feelings. And we've been studying a lot about how people think and their feelings and their emotions by studying their faces and their bodies. Now, good readers think about how the characters act, what they do, how they think, what they say, and how they speak. Then they ask, what does this tell about how the characters feel? And what feeling does this capture? So we really connect with how the characters are feeling. May I Have a Word by Karen Levis. Pictures by Andy Rash. Once upon a refrigerator, the letters of the alphabet gathered together to tell a story. Whom should our story be about, wondered W. How about a cat, suggested C. What about a kitten, exclaimed K. What about a crab, said C. Or a koala, said K. A clown, said C. Kangaroo, said K. A captain. A king. A cashew. A kid. Soon the refrigerator was crowded with characters. May I have a word with you, K said to C. I wish you'd quit stealing my sound. Do you see their faces? C was confused. Your sound? Everybody knows the K sound is my sound. Every time you start one of my K words, you just confuse everybody, said K. Why can't we share, asked C. Because you keep talking, taking all the good words, said K, like castle and clouds. Look at their faces. They're not happy. They're feeling upset. But you get kite, pointed out C. You get crash, said K. And crack. Well, but you get um kiwis and kisses. So what? You get carrots and cuddles. Oh, that's true. I do like carrots and cuddles, said C. C, said K, you get cake and cartwheels and carnivals. And the worst part is you get to start all the cars. I do, said C. Cool. Ugh, you get cool too, groaned K. Stop complaining, grumbled C. But it isn't fair. Well, it's not my fault. I don't want to stand next to you anymore. I don't want to stand next to you either. C and K stormed off to separate sides of the refrigerator. They both felt very cranky. See their eyes and their mouths. The other letters were worried. If C and K wouldn't stand together, there wouldn't be any more ducks to quack. Look, 
There are the words without C and K. There wouldn't be any clocks to tick and talk. There wouldn't be any socks. There wouldn't be any smocks or blocks, no sticks or licks. No rockets or pockets or pickles. The world would be quite out of luck. No one knew how to get C and K back together. You know, I would give you more words to start if I could call C, but I can't. I don't want to talk about it, side K. In fact, I don't want to talk at all. K fell silent, which gave N an idea. May I have a word with you? N asked K. K didn't answer. You don't have to make a sound, said N. Just let me stand here next to you. They shuffled together. Soon, they started a story. About a knight who kept getting knots in his knitting. All the letters gathered around to help, all except C, who was still in the corner looking crushed. K felt terrible. Look at his face. What comes next? wondered W. The letters thought and thought. I know, said K. C, may I have a word with you? C wasn't sure. I'm sorry I was so unkind. Before, I had an idea, but I need you. C was curious. The two letters shuffled toward each other closer and closer. Are they looking happier? Look at their faces and their smiles and their eyes. Soon the knight had knots in the knitting of his knickers. The letters laughed and laughed. That was hilarious, said H. They decided to try another story. Whom should it be about this time, wondered W. C looked at K. I think it should be about a cat. K looked at C. I think it should be about a Kitten, said C. Uh-oh, said the other letters, worried. But now C and K knew how to cooperate. So once upon a refrigerator, there was a kitten in a cape and a cat with a kazoo. Don't you just love how they're working together? And they always stuck together. The end. So we think about who the, 
Who are the main characters in this story, boys and girls? That's right, C and K. This book had a lot of feelings and emotions in it, didn't it? And we also thought about our digraph CK, which we're working with this week. Two consonants that when they're together make one sound.